All right, we are talking four-year protection, a special edition coming up for the next couple of weeks here. Often we are joined by Officer David Northway of the Tallahassee Police Department. Always you hear the phrase, if you see something, say something, do something. And this week, Fonisha and Melanie, both victim advocates with Tallahassee Police Department, are joining us. Hello to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. So I appreciate you guys joining us. And again, the catchphrase of Tallahassee Police Department, if you see something, say something, do something. And you, your role as a victim advocate is very important important at having members of the public be involved and being eyes and ears. For those who may not know what you guys do, t tell me a little bit about your job. Well, we are first responder, 24-hour advocates. We, we are on call, one of us, there's four, and one of us is on call 24 hours a day. Um, we rotate and we cover all major crimes, um, homicides, suicides, baby deaths, um, law enforcement involved um, incidents, the um, traffic crashes with serious injuries or deaths and armed robberies and other calls at the sergeant's discretion. And Melanie, you've been a victim advocate for how long now? 19 years. And Fanisha? Six years. For six years. And, and, and walk me through, what is your role? The 911 call comes in. Obviously, you know, on the scene of these different events, we'll see investigators. And, but, but what's your role? We're kind of behind the scenes. Um, we're there to do crisis intervention and grief support with the families um, to answer questions about what happens next because a lot of people have never experienced tragedy or a trauma, so we're just kind of there to walk them through the process. I would imagine, you know, not only physically but emotionally, yes. it's probably a pretty uh, kind of job that, that can take its toll on you. It can. Um, we have a good support system set up amongst the four of us that we always debrief each other after a major call out and we never leave without having at least talked to another advocate about. And Melanie, describe for me some of the resources that are out there. Are sometimes people surprised um, about the resources that may be available to them? A lot of times people don't know about our unit um, until we are there. So they're grateful to see someone that has those resources available. Uh, if they're a student, the first thing we do is refer them to the advocates at FSU because they can take care of classes and they can take care of getting them. There's a counseling center over there if the advocates want to do, um, if they need something further. Um, we have other advocates in this town. We have LCSO advocates. Um, they, that, and then advocates and agencies are surrounding Tallahassee. And this is very much more of an introduction of uh, what victim advocates do. Again, for the next couple of weeks here, we're going to be taking a very close look. And, and overall, as, as we kind of get to those couple of weeks here, what would you guys say is the most important thing that you guys probably do, your unit does? Um, for me, it's giving back control to a victim. I would agree with that. And, and how important is having that control back for a victim, would you say? They've lost control in the incident, uh, whatever it happens to be. Uh, it's the worst day of their lives if we're called into it. Therefore, they've lost control of all of it. So if we can hand it back to them and help them walk through this, and that's what we are. We help them, and, and what we do is we help them walk through this situation. And all again, again, about having help for victims there. And again, Fonisha and Melanie, we will be talking with you guys much more here in the next couple of weeks. For your protection, of course, you can find more information by going to our website, WTX.